Hi guys, Maxwell High on Android.com, where we get <laughs> on Android every day. Anyway, I know a lot of you are having some trouble with the Pokemon hack I posted a week ago, and you actually needed to root your phone, install Exposed. Now, there is a simpler way to do it without root if you have Marshmallow Android 6.0 or 6.0.1 running on your phone. Let me go ahead and show you how to do this. Let's go do this, baby. <laughs> Hi right, guys, what I've got here is a Verizon Galaxy S7 Edge, which I didn't root. First thing you want to do, um, go ahead and search for Fly GPS, and you will find this GPS app. Make sure you get this GPS app. Uh, it has fake GPS and a bunch of, uh, these are actually Korean letters. Get this app. For some reason, it's not available. I uh, have an APK copy you can also download, because uh, Niantic has been banning all kind of uh, Pokemon apps left and right. So this might not... Um, stay on there. So go ahead and install this app. All right, next what you're gonna do, you will want to go into settings, go into settings, right? And go into, go to about phone uh, and go ahead and go to the build number and hit it a bunch of times until developer mode has been turned on. Mine has been already turned on. And what that will give you, if you hit the back button, that'll give you developer options in the options menu. Go into um, developer options here and go down to mock locations app and choose this as fly GPS, all right, or fake GPS app. All right, go ahead and hit the home button. All right, next, go ahead and go to your location and make sure it is set uh, to high accuracy, all right? It must be set on high accuracy. And also go to Google location history and make sure this is set on, all right? And next, what you're gonna do is go ahead and launch fly GPS. Now, it will show me that my current locations here in Daily City uh, where there's not really that many pokey stops so i'm gonna go somewhere in the middle of financial district uh, maybe here chinatown where there should be a lot go ahead and select hit uh, gps run and also select joy uh, joystick location mode pokemon and then you're going to go ahead and launch pokemon go and now you should be able to uh, enjoy it you can also move the joystick here um, this is your joystick And you will see that uh, I have a bunch of Pokestops. Uh, I am actually in the middle of San Francisco. So let me go ahead and go grab a Pokestop here. So it's working great. Let's see if we can... Let me try to get a Pokemon here real quick. Oh. Cool. Um, somehow... Wow. What is that? I don't know what happened, but I just picked up a, a Pontia, right? That's really nice. Another one? All right, I have no idea what's happening. <laughs> I'm just picking up hella Pokemons. All right, can I just move, please? I would like to catch Pokemons. So as you can see, it's working just fine. Now be aware that uh, when you jump really far away from your house, you may get soft banned. And the way to get around that, if you're not getting any um, uh, Pokeballs out of Pokestops, just go ahead and spin this like 30 times and then it will start working. It will start unbanning you. It, that means you got soft bands that happened to you. Just use your common sense. Um, don't transfer India to US uh, and then just start playing. I mean, if you're going to do that, you still can. You'll get soft banned. Like I said, go to a Pokestop and spin it like 30 times and it will unban you. Or you can go ahead and wait a couple a couple hours also. But as you can see, within a few minutes of me playing in San Francisco, uh, I'm not getting banned at all. All right guys, you can do this on any Android device running Android 6.0, 6.0.1 Marshmallow. Make sure you follow the directions here, otherwise the hack might not work. Also, this is really for those of you who can't get out of the house, maybe it's raining, um, you just wanna get some Pokemon Go. Uh, but you absolutely have to get it done, but you can't go out. And I know a lot of you actually email me, you were actually on a wheelchair, disabled, blah, blah, blah. There may be plenty of reasons. Now this one uses mock locations, so it's not a complete hack method. Uh, Niantic may eventually ban you permanently, so I don't actually recommend it. If you want the ultimate hack and you have a rooted Android, follow my original Pokemon Android hack. That one actually hides your mock locations, and if you add VPN, that will also hide your IP. It makes it practical for long-term hack 
attacking Pokemon Go. But this is a great method for those of you who just want to try Pokemon Go and there's no Pokestops or Pokeballs or Pokemons around your area. Um, if you have Marshmallow, you don't need Root. Go ahead and try this and you should be able to try out Pokemon Go. Anyway, have a great day. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up for me. Follow me on Twitter, Facebook, Google+, Instagram, Periscope. We also have a Note 7 giveaway and OnePlus 3 giveaway. Check that in the description. I will see you guys soon. As always, stay on Android. Click here to subscribe.